Hey guys, it's Janixa and welcome to another nail lacquer therapy session. Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about the latest Sally Hansen InstaDry Luxe Effect Collection. This collection is inspired by fabrics and opulent finishes. I did find these at Target. They are also available at Walgreens and Ulta. This collection has been out for a little while already, but it took me a minute to get my hands on them. And there's eight polishes to look at, so let's go ahead and get into the swatches. All right, first up we have Gloss C, and C is spelled S-E-A, like the ocean. This one is a beautiful blue, and it has some magenta shimmer running throughout. And the reason that my ring finger was already painted when I started this first coat is because I started to film or I thought I was filming, but I was not, and it was just a whole thing, and I had already had that finger painted, so I decided to just leave it alone. <laughs> this nail polish has beaut a beautiful formula. It goes on really smooth, really, really nice. I would have done a third coat, though. I did not realize that there was some patchiness on my nails, and I definitely would have applied a third coat. This next one is called Spill the Vel Velvet, I, I don't know if they're trying to go for like Velveeta, I don't know, but it's this one. <laughs> it's a beautiful pink with the same magenta shimmer that Gloss C had, and this one has a better formula. Well, not so much a better formula, they both have good formulas. What it is is that this pink one is a little bit more opaque. I only needed two coats for it, and as you can see, it also dries down to a matte finish. So, this one is really, really pretty. I definitely thought I was gonna need three coats, but nope, it's completely opaque in just two. If you have longer nails, you may need a third. Next up, we've got Lavish Lilac, and this one is gorgeous. It has the same magenta shimmer as the first two polishes. This one is a little bit more sheer on that first coat. It does build up nicely, though. I really ended up liking these a lot more than I thought I was going to. I think it's because the majority of them dry down to a matte finish, and I have really been loving matte finishes lately. They are just so gorgeous. As you can see, this one dries down matte also. On the second coat, I was kind of iffy, kind of in between whether I needed a third coat or not. I feel like if you do a thick second coat, you won't need a third one, but if you do thin coats, then you definitely will need a third coat for this one. Next up, we have the one that I believe is the star of the show. This one is called The Queen's Velvet. This one is absolutely stunning. It does dry down to a matte finish, and I feel like that makes it even more gorgeous. It's a little tiny bit sheer on the first coat. This one does build up really nicely in two coats. If you're not a huge fan of a matte finish, that's okay. All you need is a nice glossy top coat and the matte finish is all gone. Personally, I love the matte finish, especially with shimmery colors like this. Uh, it's just so gorgeous. I mean, look at it. It looks perfect for the holidays, in my opinion. <laughs> I wouldn't say this one is especially unique to Sally Hansen, but it's still absolutely beautiful. Next up, we have Triple Thread, and I feel like this one will be the one that not many people enjoy because it's more of a pearly finish. However, it does build up nicely in just two coats. You know, I was kind of surprised with this, especially because it is a lighter color, but look at that first coat. It almost covers completely in one coat. So this one has a very nice formula. You are still gonna see some brush strokes even when it dries, but I don't know, honestly, I like it. it. It has this like vintage feel to it and it's really, really pretty. I understand though that not many people like to see brush strokes on their nails. I personally don't mind them. Um, just try to paint the last coat on, you know, a little straighter, but uh, I really like this one. Next up, we have this beautiful gray. This one is called Extrava Gray, and uh, it's absolutely stunning. I feel like we've seen uh, a lot of gray in collections this year. 
um, thinking to OPI, and right now off the top of my head, things aren't coming to mind, but I know we've seen gray, oh, hollow taco. Uh, so this one, oh, it's really, really pretty. Look at the opacity on it, it is great in one coat. It is not a one coater though. There's still a little bit of nail line showing in the first coat. So on the second coat, it covers completely. And as you can see here, it also dries down to a velvety matte finish. Again, absolutely love it. If you're a fan of velvety matte finishes, this collection is for you. Next up, we have another pink in the collection and this one is called Sleek Abu. Uh, this one, um, probably my least favorite, just because we already have the Queen's Velvet, even though that one is a little bit darker and more of a magenta color. Um, I don't know, I just didn't really feel the need for this one, but it has a really nice formula also. A little bit of brush strokes show through with this one. Uh, the shimmer is that same magenta shimmer that lots of the other polishes in this collection have. This one is one of the only ones that doesn't dry down to a velvet finish. I tried to let it dry to more, you know, with more time to see if it would dry to a matte finish, but it did not. And last but not least, we have Silk Is, and it's a gorgeous, gorgeous color. This actually reminds me of an indie polish because it is packed with gold shimmer. Look at how beautiful this is. In the first coat, it actually covers really nicely for it being, you know, like an off-white color. So I really enjoyed this. It completely covers the nail line in two coats and wow, it's just really beautiful. It's another one that has brush strokes though. So once again, if that's not your thing, you may not like this one, but wow, I just, this one looks absolutely gorgeous. It reminds me of polishes from Davine Lacquer. And here we have the entire Lux FX collection together. There you have it guys, swatches of the latest Sally Hansen Insta Dry Lux Effects collection. What did you think of this collection? I thought it was a pretty collection. I really enjoy the velvety matte finishes of some of these polishes. Uh, I don't know, matte finishes has really interested me a lot lately. A lot of polishes look really pretty when you put a matte top coat over them. So I really enjoyed that some of these dried to a matte finish. I really like that we have that new paddle brush with this uh, Sally Hansen line. So far it's the only line besides the um, Good Kind Pure line that has the paddle brush. I'm so happy for that. I hope that they're going to change the brushes on all their other lines, especially the Miracle Gel line. So keeping my fingers crossed there. But overall, this is a pretty collection. I wouldn't say it's, you know, amazing and you absolutely need it. No, but it definitely is a pretty collection and there are some beautiful polishes here that are worth picking up if you don't have something like them already in your collection. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.